Good evening ladies and gentlemen, and have I got something spicy for you today. Have you ever looked at an animated wallpaper and thought to yourself, how is this made? Or perhaps you've come across a nice wallpaper and it would look so cool if it were animated, but nobody has animated and you're now you're ready to pull up your sleeves and try it yourself. But where do you start? Today we will learn how to create a nice, smooth, flowing, animated wallpaper from a single image. Now it is important to remember that what I will be showcasing throughout this series, and yes, you heard it right, series, it's going to be multiple videos, is my own process. Everyone has their own preferences and techniques and I highly recommend trying things out for yourself as that is the best way to learn. I will attempt to explain my thought process behind the steps I take as well as try to explain the reason I am using certain effects for certain situations. Now to get into the thick of things, here's the list of things you will need to create an animated wallpaper. 1. Wallpaper Engine It's pretty self-explanatory. It's the tool we will be using to create anything that moves or causes movement. And odds are you've clicked this video simply because you already have Wallpaper Engine. Second, GIMP or any other Photoshop tool. I will be using GIMP as it's free. We'll be using this to separate our single layered image into multiple layers. So without much further ado, where do we begin? We begin by making our image a bit more spicy. And by spicy I mean amplifying colors, blurring or sharpening the image to our liking. So how do we do this? Through windows. Yep, we'll be using windows to edit our image. To do so, simply open your image from the file explorer and press the edit button. This will open a small editor where you'll be able to do a lot of things but we are only interested in one tab. On the top side you should be able to see adjustments. Here we will be able to amplify the colors, light, contrast and general blurriness of the image. Simply grab one of the sliders and move it around. I start by upping the color quite a bit. After that I will increase the warmth a little bit as well as our character Leona is a sun warrior so it seems pretty fitting. Next up we'll reduce the clarity. Now I can already hear you thinking, why would you reduce the clarity? Won't that just reduce the quality of the image? Not quite. What we're looking for is to reduce the clarity of the background. The reason why I am doing this will be explained a little bit later down the line as it's mostly important for layering work. For now, just know that it helps when you will be splitting your image into multiple layers. Once you've changed your image to your liking, you can give it a fancy name and save it. The next step is to separate our wallpaper from a single layer into multiple layers using GIMP. However, I will leave that to the next video, as splitting an image into multiple layers takes quite a bit of time and I would like these videos to be as short as possible. So with that, I bid you adieu and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>